Hey, good morning, friends. 7.30 a.m. in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is time for morning devotions. God's Word is the best place to start your day, isn't it? You know, we face lots of trouble in this life. Not only our trouble, but the trouble of others that we care about and love whether it's children, family, parents, whatever it is, we have lots of concerns about this world. Your concern might be wrapped up in the daily news and what you're reading online, what you're hearing, what you're watching can get us wound up and worried about what's going on in life. Well, the Bible says that as Christians and followers of Christ, we have, you and I, we have a great hope, a blessed hope. And what does that mean, to have a blessed hope? That means that our hope and our uh, faith and our trust, we're looking forward to the day when we're with Jesus and we step into eternity. Because this place that we live today, this place is not our home. This is not where we were meant to be because there's an eternity for us. And so our time here on the earth is actually just a time of preparing for what is to come. That's what it is. And that's what I want to remind you of today. I want to read today to you out of the book of Revelations chapter 21. Revelations, the last book of the Bible, chapter 21 says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. This is John, the revelator, writing in the book of Revelation as he is seeing visions, and the Holy Spirit is giving him visions of the future and of the end times, and that's what the book of Revelation is about. I saw a new heaven and earth, the old heaven and earth had passed away. That's the earth, the earth that you and I are in today. We're in that earth that's going to pass away. Verse 2 says, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. Did you know there will be a new Jerusalem? My wife and I this year had the privilege of traveling to the current Jerusalem in Israel and taking a tour of the Holy Land. That was exciting, but the Bible says there is a new Jerusalem, a brand new city of God coming down out of heaven in the end times. Verse 3 says, I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. And verse 4, verse 4, a many times quoted verse. We love this verse. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things will be gone forever. My friends, that's our great hope. That's the hope that we live for, the hope of eternity with Christ, when all the sorrow and pain of this world is gone. Let's pray this morning. God, we thank you for your blessings in our life. We thank you for your word, and we thank you that there is coming a day when all things will be new, and when crying and death and sorrow and pain will be no more, according to Scripture. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for the future that you have for each and every one of us whose faith is in Christ. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, thank you guys for being with me this morning. Let's see who has jumped on today. All right. Let me back this up into the shade a little bit. Oh, there's my beautiful wife this morning. Good morning, dear. There's Alfredo and Christine, RJ, and Georgia. There's Karen this morning and Sylvia. Jan and Dennis Duff and Terry Guerrero this morning from Nebraska. And Mary and Joe Taylor. 
Laura Lynn, good morning to you and to Rose. Fair weather in Belize. Yes, and there's Ron G this morning and Mary Courtney from Apache Junction. Yes, Mary Taylor says this world's not my home. I'm just passing through. Yes, Laura Lynn is greeting her sister. There's V Duffy this morning and there's Maria. Good morning, Maria. Ivy Keller this morning. Yes, someday we will all meet together, won't we? All of our morning devotions, people. If we don't see each other before, we'll see each other in heaven, won't we? Laura Lynn's praying for everyone. Phyllis, good morning to you. Alfredo, Christine, and Laura Lynn. All right, well, that's pretty well does it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. For morning devotions and this small pool right here can be had for $22.99 today so if you get too hot go out to Ace Hardware and buy your blue swimming pool put some water in it and just sit there in the backyard for a little bit well thanks guys for being with me this morning God bless you and have an awesome day today in Jesus bye bye